So there's an item in Throne and Liberty, which most players on Global are really not aware of, which is an item I feel you 100% need to be interacting with in any PvP encounter you may find yourself within in Throne and Liberty. This isn't clickbait by the way. I mean, this item will make your PvP experience 100% better, especially if you're a player like me, who are absolutely sick and tired of fed up and being stun locked for 20 minutes while other players can do what they like to you. This guys more or less reverses that. How's it going guys my name is DPJ now I am away until the 5th of November but when I return I will pick a bunch of people from the comment section of my Throne and Liberty videos and reward them 1000 plus lucent so you want to win it's as simple as this drop a like on my video leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed the more i see you active on my phone and liberty videos the more of a chance you have of winning i'll pick a winners from the comment section and announce them after the 5th of november so good luck everybody so playing pvp in this game can be fun but then quickly ruined by being stun locked on the spot and then just utterly destroyed it's all pvp is now it seems i mean it's what puts most players off and in reality it's why if you ask players about PvP in this game they will tell you it's just so unbalanced and literally unplayable. Being stunned in this game while playing PvP is utterly horrid and yes there are certain counters you can do for the most part but it just feels like a chore even thinking about it. And while this can mean you miss out on some of the game's better loot rewards as some of those open world bosses are conflict zones pvp arena can reward you decent loot too as well as those dynamic events so there's an item in this game which many people really don't know about i myself stumbled upon it uh, really not realizing what it was so the item is called the precious purification stone and what this stone does is it removes certain cc crowd control effects applied to you so if you are playing pvp and you get hit with a stun you guessed it guys, this will take you out of this stun. This removes that stun. Now the great thing about this item is once you have it, it's a one time purchase for in-game currency. Once you have it and use it, it is not consumed. This means guys, you have it for eternity. So how do you get this thing? Well if you come to the Sundry's Crafting Merchant, come down to that pouch tab, the top item here should be that precious purification stone. This is what you want. So to craft this thing it does take a few requirements, most are easy to get but one will take much much more of a grind. So first up we can see to craft this item you need 25 of each of the following gems, the following ores. You need 25 of the precious rubrix ore, 25 of the precious emerald ore, 25 of the precious stalin ore and 25 of the precious marind ore. Now these ain't too hard to get which we'll discuss later on but you also need 60 of the abyssal aggregates which is a special material and which isn't easy to come by. Now in regards to the ore, the four you need are basically the top quality versions of said ore. This means the lesser versions uh, like the rare ones and the quality ones can be crafted up to make these. Now with each of these ores you can build your way up like I just said but 5 of the quality versions craft a rare version, 5 of the rare versions craft you a precious version. Now in regards to gain ores of every rarity the best place you can do this is within the open world dungeons. This does however require you to have those abyssal contract tokens in order for enemies in these dungeons to drop you that loot. But yeah, these open world dungeons drop you tons of ore so if you come here in a team you'll get an absolute shit ton. Another way to get ore is the resistance contracts, these you can pick up from various different contract merchants but I feel the watcher's post contract merchant is the best due to you getting 37 contract coins per contract completed. But these contracts you can also refresh to reroll uh, ore to get the ones you need. Another great way of getting ore are those allied resistance forces contracts which you purchase from the sundry's merchant. These are limited to 24 contracts per week. And you have to complete them within those open world dungeons but it's a great source of getting these gems. You can also use the Tade or Tower contracts you purchase from the Sundry's Merchant too. Although limited, these drop you those precious gems too. You can also purchase certain gems from the Contract Coin Merchant. But I will add prices are a little steep here. Now in regards to the Abyssal Aggregates, these are a much much harder thing to come by. 
which I believe there only being two options in the game of you getting them. You can farm them from certain enemies in certain places or the auction house. Now auction house aside, we don't want none of that. The open world dungeons are definitely your best bet in getting these. Now if you highlight the item, you can see exactly what enemies drop these and where they are located. Now personally, I feel your best bet is to farm the Sodoma open world dungeon. It seems as though most enemies here drop this item and because there are always tons of enemies here too over on this island, it's probably the most consistent at the same time. Remember though you need those abyssal contract tokens to enter open world dungeons in regards to getting these enemies to drop you that loot. But yes guys you need to farm away here. And again if you have those allied resistance forces contracts once you basically trigger these you'll get contracts which you can complete in those open world dungeons also getting ore at the same time as well as the loot that also drops from the enemies you're taking down in these open world dungeons so yes yes it's a win-win in my opinion but you definitely want to be farming for this because it will help you massively in pvp i mean once you have this item you add it to your quick access slot i mean when you get stunned then in pvp you simply trigger it and it removes that stun now, i do believe there's a cooldown like a minute and a half to two minutes but this is enough to remove that stun from you and to lay down enough damage before the opponent's CC basically refreshes or cools down and I can use it again. But yeah, it's also why there's no PvP footage in the background of this video because I just cannot stand it. I mean, if I see a dynamic event on the map or a world boss, if it's conflict marked, it's just, for me, just a no-go. It's just so boring going there, being stunned absolutely getting destroyed respawning at another outpost going all the way back it's just a boring gameplay loop i'm not interested in and it's why as soon as i get back from my holiday i'm farming the heck out of these open world dungeons to get those well 60 of the abyssal aggregate so i can get this item and slot it in place which will help me massively in regards to pvp I mean the open world dungeons at night too all turn to PvP and it just turns into a stun orgy which is not something I want to be a part of. So yes guys do what you gotta do, farm away, get this item and hopefully it helps you out in regards to PvP in Throne of Liberty. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.